two reasons why Muslims don't have to change their beliefs to fit Darwinian evolution. Number one, science does not lead to certainty. And number two, Darwin's theory of evolution is not indisputable. So Darwinian evolution can be accepted by Muslims as a valid theory, but not something absolutely true. The first thing we need to do is make a distinction between basic evolution and Darwin's theory of evolution. Basic evolution is biological change over time. Darwinian evolution is composed of two parts. Number one, the tree of life, and number two, natural selection. The basic type of evolution is simply true. It happens all around us. Take butterflies or bacteria evolving resistance to medicine. No one disagrees with this type of biological evolution. But get this, this was well known before Darwin. Yes, before Darwin. It's the second type which is problematic, which requires more evidence yeah, for the tree of life and natural selection other than mere observations. Sadly, people confuse the two types together and assume proof for the former is proof for the latter. This is not to mention some of the problems with regards to Darwinian evolution. Number one, no matter how successful a scientific theory is, it can always be changed and challenged due to new observations and interpretations. Philosophy of science teaches us that there is no absolute concrete proof for any scientific theory. Two, the tree of life is based on the idea of homology, which is the assumption that two species with similar genes and anatomy have evolved from a common ancestor. Left as it is, it's just an assumption, not a conclusion based on evidence. Yet there is a problem, homeoplasy. Homeoplasy is the observation of similarities which cannot be due to common ancestry. Number three, gradualism. Darwin assumed evolution takes place in small, slight steps. This assumption is an essential part of Darwin's theory. In fact, he actually said that this is like a falsification condition to his entire framework. But the fossil record shows the exact opposite. Rapid changes in biological features also. Number four, selfishness. Darwinism assumes that the only reason for our existence is to selfishly care for our own survival and reproduction. But it doesn't explain why many people give charity anonymously, why governments collect taxes for hospitals to help survival of the unfittest, why people care about animals, ancient buildings and are willing to die for their values and ideals. Number five, some notable biologists and philosophers have pointed out that there is propaganda about Darwinism and they see it being pushed as an undeniable reality when it is far from it. In fact, some have even labelled Darwinism as a religion due to the activities of Darwinists. In addition to this, Darwinism isn't even the only theory of evolution. Let me just give you three alternatives. Number one, evolution by natural genetic engineering. Number two, Neo-Lamarckian evolution. And number three, mutation-driven evolution. What was the point of all this? I'm not trying to tell you that this theory is invalid. It's still the main scientific theory to explain biological change. And also the majority of biologists also subscribe to it. Mentioning the disagreements above is done only to show that Darwinism is not an eternal truth set in stone as some may have us believe. So how can this be reason enough to make Muslims change their beliefs about the Creator and the Qur'an's view of the creation of mankind?